Hey everyone, I have a really exciting video here for you today. Well, I think it's exciting at least. Um, I guess I'm sure you already know that it's a Sephora haul, like it says up above. Um, I purchased these things um, with the friends and family sale. And some of the things I'll distinguish are for my sister. But So I just wanted to share with you guys. I wanted to do an unboxing haul really bad. But when I got the products, I was just way too excited. And I opened up everything. And so I've been using everything, not everything, but most of the things for a day or two. And I've really liked it so far, at least the products that I've tried out. Um, so I'm just going to start with the samples that came in the order. Um, I got Peace Love Juicy, uh, I got Calvin Klein Beauty, and I got Aqua De Joya by Giorgio Armani. Um, I don't think I requested any of these three. I know I remember requesting the Golden Delicious Apple one, and I think the Justin Bieber perfume. But most of them, I guess, were out of stock. I'm not really sure. Um, and the only one out of these three perfumes that I liked is the Aqua De Joya one. It's very, it, I mean, it smells like, you know, like kind of like water and fresh. Kind of like that. I'm sure you've all smelled all of these. Oops. Um, but I don't really like them. I'll probably have my mom or my sister test them out. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what I actually got. Um, first thing, my mom, um, my mom pays for, like, necessity type things. And skincare is somewhat of a necessity. I've had some problems lately, and so we're trying Clinique out. Just hope that that helps, and it has been so far, basically. Um, but I wanted to incorporate a scrub into my, I don't know, weekly routine. And I've only used it once, but it's the Clinique Exfoliating Scrub. Um, it's designed for oilier skins, um, which I have, like, a combination oily kind of skin type. And I used it, not last night, but the night before. And it was interesting. It kind of hurt. It was. It's really, really rough. I don't think it has much of a smell, um, I don't know, maybe you can kind of see, I don't know if you'll be able to see that at all, um, but it's white and it's fairly gritty, it's like kind of like sand or like sugar crystals all over your face, and it kind of hurts when you scrub. Um, I'm going to keep trying this out and hopefully that will help um, brush away some dead skin. Um, now the other things that I got are much more exciting than that, and these are things I purchased with my own money. Um, so the first thing I'm going to start off with is the SNARS nail polish, and it's one I'm wearing right now. Um, it's been on for over 24 hours now, and it's still holding up really well. I went swimming today um, at noontime, and it held up through that, which is amazing, because most of the time my nail polish is chip when I go swimming, because, you know, like, the water makes your nails, like, softer, and then I, like, bump them on things, or, like, I'm doing something active, um... So you said they chipped, but they did not. I did um, smudge one and chipped one like the first, at, like right after I painted them, but that usually happens to me anyways. Um, but the nail polish color is called Bad Influence. Hopefully you can kind of see. Sorry if the lighting's bad. Um, but it's just kind of, I would call it taupe. It's sort of a taupe brown, muddy kind of color. I would say it almost looks, it's, it's very taupe. Taupe is like my favorite color this fall. I'm not really sure why or where that came from, but anything that's like taupe is my favorite. I don't like brown, but I like taupe. Um, and I really like it, and I got it because it was only $8. It was this one, and then um, a pretty purpley one. And my sister was going to get that one, but it was sold out by the time our order went through, I guess, to the warehouse. So, I really like that nail polish, and it went on really nicely. One coat, and it was completely opaque. Um, just a couple, I, I did two coats just to like you know, make sure everything was perfect, but it looked completely opaque from one coat, and I was really excited about this, which is good, because now I know that I like Nars nail polish, but that's also bad, because they're originally like $17. So, um, beyond that, I got the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip um, sampler set, and it was $25, and it says it's a $63 value. $63 value. Um, so I'll just show you what it all came with. Oh, I love the little tin thing. I don't know. I wish I'm gonna have to find something that I can like put in there. Um, but okay, so it comes with Benetint, which I'm sure, sorry, which I'm sure you've all seen before. Um, it's just a little tube. I don't know. Maybe it says on the back how big they are. Point one three fluid ounces. So I don't know how big that is compared to the regular size one. Um, but like these will last forever because you really don't need very much. You know, like it's just gonna stain. Um, you know, your lips or your cheeks or whatever, and it's not gonna, you're not gonna need very much. Uh, okay, the second thing, I'll just kind of pull them out for you here. They're kind of hard to get out of the whole thing. Um, it says Buxom Lip Gloss, and it's in the shade Leslie, which is, I think, in a couple of their other little sets. Uh, I also love Buxom Lip Glosses. They're right there. 
it's very much the, a peachy kind of shade. Um, like a neutral pe peach kind of shade. Um, I love books and lip glosses and I'm definitely going to use this at some point or another. Okay, and so the rest of these are just kind of new and random, like I thought sounded like fun that I could try. Um, and this one, this is a Smashbox lip gloss, which I actually have another one my sister got in a little set. Um, I don't remember what mine's called, but this one's called Fame. And it's really pretty. It's a really pretty, like, pink kind of color. Um, it's very, I would say it's very, like, oh, it's a darker pink. But I think that would look really good for fall. I feel like that's a good, like, fall pink, if that makes sense. Um, this next one is a Juicy Tube. Lancome Juicy Tube, and it's in Raspberry Ice. And it smells really good. It smells kind of like raspberry lemonade or something like that. Um... And it's really pretty on. I put it on once. Uh, I guess I'll do a little swatch, but it's super glittery. You know, it's just like, I'm sure I'm sure most of you had a Juicy Tube. Sorry about my phone. I've actually never had a Juicy Tube. Um, I've had, like, Mark um, Cosmetics has the, Mark, which I'm representative for, has um, Juice Gems, which are basically the same, like, idea. And so I've had, tried a bunch of those. I've tried um, the Sephora Juice whatever they are, lip glosses, and I've also tried a couple from Bath and Body Works, like, along those same lines. Um, this next thing, can get out, um, it's a Tarte, what are they called, Lip Surgeons Natural Lip Tint, and it's in Moody. It's a cute little one, I think it's really adorable, um, but it's a really pretty deep, I guess it's, it's hard to show up on my skin, but you can kind of see here, it's sort of like a deep red kind of color, sorry about my phone again, um, but it's really pretty, and it's, I mean, these are going to last you forever. I don't, should I, does it twist? Yeah, it twists up. Like, I know there's not very much there, but it's a little sampler. And my sister has one, a big one, and she's barely used any of it, and she uses it all the time. Um, but I really like that. And then the last thing is really, really adorable. Um, it's a Kat Von D lipstick. And it's in Celebutard, I guess. Um, but it's a really pretty, just nude sort of color, and it's tiny. Um, so I'll put that one on the end. It's a very much just, like, nude pink kind of color. Um, I've only tried, I guess, the Juicy Tube out of this because of another lip gloss I got, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but I'm really excited just to kind of try them, and, um, I have so many lip products already, but that's because that's, I don't know, that's really what I like. I'm not sure why, but that's what I like, that's what my thing is. Like, a lot of people love blush, and a lot of people love eyeshadow, my thing is those things. Um, so I need to figure out some sort of a system to, like, rotate my products in and out of my bag. Because whatever's in my bag, in my school bag, that's what I use. Now I have a couple of the most exciting things. Um, first of all is this Makeup Forever Foundation. It's the Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. I am in love. Um, I don't know, I think I told you guys about this in my other favorites video because I had a little sample. And my full-size friend, they came in. Um... It's at number 25, and it matches my skin basically perfect, but I absolutely love it. It works really well, it has really good coverage, and it keeps my skin from not from getting shiny and stuff throughout the day. I look pretty good right now. I, I do finish off with powder, but um, because of this, since it's such a matte finish, I don't really need that much powder. But I absolutely love it. I'm going to hopefully film a foundation routine with this and other products sometime soon. Now, kind of, kind of to go along with that, kind of not... Um, but it's the Makeup Forever, best of, it's like called the Best of Makeup Forever. It's a wild and chic set. I hope you can see that. Okay, I'm going to open this up. Now this is super exciting. Hopefully maybe you can get a better look here. So, we'll just go. Well, we'll go for my favorite thing first. Um, it's this lip gloss. It's the Lab Shine. It's the Star Collection. Uh, which I believe means it's like shimmery not glittery and then they have they have like a glitter one i think it's glitter and they have the s the g there's a g's a s and an m and then the m is like metal uh this is what i have on right now um i really like the brush it is like it's like a little brush i just already have probably plenty on a little extra not working for anything it's my favorite and it stays on forever also does anybody know what it smells like for some reason, I want to say it smells like some sort of tea, like some sort of like sweetened tea or something. I don't know. I'm not a tea drinker, but that's what it smells like to me. 
just odd because I don't really like tea, but I really like, I love this. This is like my favorite thing ever. I keep reapplying it in class and things and people are probably like, wow, she's obnoxious. Anyways, uh, we'll just kind of go down through the package. Okay, this next thing is this Makeup Forever. Oh, maybe I'm going to swatch this next to the rest of these so you can see how it compares. There it is at the end. You can see it. Um, I don't know. It's kind of it's pink with like gold sparkles, so it's kind of um, it's almost got a peachy kind of tint to it. Um, I'm trying to think. I've like read the description online, trying to figure out what color it was, and I don't remember. And then okay, so here's the eyeliner. It's a Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Black Eyeliner, waterproof, everything like that. Um, so. There it is. It's okay. It didn't go on my waterline very well. And I wear contacts. And Mark has a great waterproof eyeliner, which is great, you know? Perfect waterproof. Except for, I don't know, may maybe I just apply it weird or something. But this did it too. The waterproof, like, the eyeliner sticks to my contacts. And then it's a waterproof, you can't wash it off. And then I can't see very well. And then there's black stuff all over my contacts. It's a big problem. Um, but I put this on the other day without thinking about it, and then all of a sudden my eyes hurt, and I was, like, having problems and stuff, and not worth it for me. I'm sure other people could get great use out of it and love it, but it's just not, not for me. Um, okay, next thing I have is the Smoky Lash Mascara. Also, um, the lip gloss was full size, I believe. The eyeliner is clearly not full size, and the mascara is full size. Um, and it's the Smoky Lash, Make It Forever Smoky Lash. It says extra black mascara. Um, but for a lot volume, length, and curl. Now I've been using this for a couple days. Hope you can see the brush. Um, I really like it. It's a little clumpy. I think a smoky lash. I feel like that's like the best definition for it. I feel like it's perfect for like going out or stuff like that. Like if you're gonna do a smoky eye, this would be like the perfect mascara to go with it. Um, because it was a little clumpy for me for everyday wear. I'm still using it. And I still do like it. I really like the brush. It's kind of, I'm not sure like what it actually is made of. Like I haven't like felt or anything. But I think it's like plasticky but it's in like the form of like more of like that plastic bristles wouldn't be in. I'm sure other people know this mascara better than I do. But that's kind of how I would describe it. Um, so it was okay. Um, next thing is the HD primer. Which is a micro perfecting primer. And this is half a fluid ounce. I don't know how big the full size one, but I know this is not the full size. Um, and it's just white, but like basic base primer. But I really like it so far. It works really well. Um, I think it, I like to use it now because I'm using the Makeup Forever Foundation. So I feel like they're designed more to work together. So I'm going to keep using it. And if I do like it, I'll probably end up buying the full size one. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm having problems here. Oh, man. Um, is the Makeup Forever HD Powder, which is the Micro Finish Powder. Um, this is really great, especially since this foundation gives such full coverage. You don't need, an, a, like, a powder foundation to do, you know, do powder in your T-zone. Um, so I really like this. Again, I've used it for a couple days, and it works really well. Keeps my skin really, um, smooth and matte. And... I don't know. I really like it. But I've really liked this so far. And if I do continue to like it, it might become my all the time setting powder. I might have to get a big one. Okay, and then the final thing in here, which is awesome, is um, the Aqua Cream Waterproof Heat Cream Color. And it's in 13, which I feel like is like the best, I don't know, the best just like eyeshadow base. Shimmery eyeshadow base that is. Okay, so I'm just going to dip my finger in there you can see you can see that I'm sure you've seen this before um, there's the bottom okay and I'm just gonna do a little swatchy swatch it's super pretty and a little bit goes a long way so there it is right there Hopefully you can see it um, I really love it I've I'm wearing it now I guess as a base underneath eyeshadows I'm wearing mark eyeshadows um, leave a comment down below if you like my eyeshadow or if you'd like me to do a tutorial on it I probably will anyways <laughs> But, um, I mean, if you're interested, that's always good to know. But I'm using this as a base and then my MAC eyeshadows, and it doesn't crease at all. Well, no. We're doing good. So that's awesome. And I really love the color. It, like, brightens up my eyes a lot. Other than that, okay, then I just have, okay, we got magnetic nail polishes. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere, but they're from the Nails Ink line. 
Um, got the purple one and the gray one, or the silver. Maybe it's more of a silver. Um, the purple one's mine, and the silver one's my sister's. And it's called Houses of Parliament in Trafalgar Square. Um, I know you've all seen these probably, but hopefully I'll be able to um, try it out and see if it like really works for me. I've all right, so it cut off somewhere and I'm not really sure where, so I'm just going to go back through and show you what my sister got. Um, she got this Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief um, Moisturizer kind of thing. It's a gel cream and it's for all skin types and she really likes this. Um, she has super dry skin and so since this is help, supposed to help with, you know, like dry spots and whatnot, she uses it all over all the time. She also got... The Sephora Favorite Lash Dash, which I'll show you, just the box. Isn't it so pretty? I'm going to open it up a little bit, show you what's inside as well. Um, I really just want the box. I'm super excited for all of the mascaras and stuff too, but I'm not so much of a mascara person. As I said before, I'm definitely a lip person, um, but maybe she'll let me keep the box because she doesn't really like pink. Okay, and then the final thing... Um, it's a five point perk and it's the Laura Mercier Flawless, not five, 500, Flawless Favorites um, set and it's got, what does it have? Okay, it's the Mini Full Blown Volume Lash Building Mascara, Mini Eyes ba Eye Basics in Wheat, um, Mini Face Polish, Mini Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 in Nude, and then Mini Foundation Primer. Sorry. Um, so that's exciting. We've been saving up for a while. We both have our own accounts, but I always just um, give points to her account because she had a lot more and she's been trying to get to 500 points. Um, and so hopefully she'll let me uh, borrow or use one of these things. I don't know. Because um, we have to try out the foundation and maybe if it suits one of us better than the other, that's how that'll go. Um, but I'm really excited just to see how these things work because I've never actually had a Laura Messier product, but they're raved about everywhere. So, I mean, they have to be good for something. So this is a good way to try it out. If you're getting close to 500 points, I would say go for it and get this snatched up right away. Because it's probably gone soon, if not already. Um, today is the 9th. Um, so the 28% off deal is actually gone. The um, friends and family. So that's kind of sad. But if you're a VIB, you will get a coupon for this next weekend. The 10th through the 14th, I believe. Um, you get 20% off any purchases, so we'll go to Sephora on Saturday, and hopefully we'll, uh, buy a couple more things, which we clearly need, except not. Um, but anyways, let me know if you've tried any of these things, and let me know if there's any Makeup Forever products that you would recommend. Um, uh, it's kind of my new obsession now. I don't know, I've always thought, like, oh, Makeup Forever, that's, like, fancy, like, you know, whatever. But I really like it. A lot. And it's probably worth the money. Which is surprising for me to say, because I buy, I like to buy cheaper things most of the time. Um, sorry for my rambling, um, but that'll be the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did pick up anything from this for a friends and family sale. If you did a haul, leave it down below. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Um, uh, please comment and subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked it and if you like hauls. If you don't like hauls, I apologize, but hopefully you do, because I think they're really fun to see what people got. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!